Alright everyone, hello. Today I will show you how to make, use, and power the Enrichment Chamber. Now the Enrichment Chamber allows you to get all kinds of cool things like lead dust, I guess, and a bunch of other stuff like that. It also allows for ore doubling. So if you have a silk touch pickaxe, it should be around here somewhere. Here it is, ore doubling. You can double the amount of ore. Normally you'd only get one peridot from a peridot ore, but now you can get two. So it is very useful if you want to double up your ores here. There we go, I'm using diamond ore as the example for the video. There we go. And there we go. You just doubled your diamond ore. So the first step you're going to want to take to getting the enrichment chamber for mechanism is you're going to want to get immersive engineering so you can get the engineer's hammer which you can craft with two sticks, two iron ingots and a string. There you go. And then you're going to want to get the engineer's hammer next to an iron ingot to make the iron plate. Then you're want to get, uh, get uh, extra utilities too. And then you're going to want to make the survival generator with five cobblestone, one redstone, two iron ingots, and a furnace. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make some copper wire. And you're going to want to get... Uh, yeah, copper wire comes from... Uh, tech uh, from immersive engineering, but it also comes from tech guns, which is another mod we're going to be using here. But you're going to need five copper nuggets to make a copper wire. Then you're going to need four copper wire and iron plate, two redstone, two cactus green dye, and an iron plate to make a circuit board. Then you're going to want to make the uh, steel frame, I believe it's called. You are called a steel casing. Anyway, you're going to want to make the steel casing, and in order to get the steel, you're going to need to make the blast furnace from tech guns. You're going to need to get four iron plates, one redstone, one furnace, one iron block, and two stone blocks. So here you go, here's a blast furnace, and you power it with the survival generator, which you can put blaze rods, charcoal, or coal, coal blocks, charcoal blocks, in, and you can use it to power it up. And it powers up the blast furnace here. And then you're going to want to put one, two, three, four. And you're going to want to put one. And now it'll turn into steel. It'll take a while. But anyway, once you get that, osmium ore comes from mechanism itself. And once the steel is cooked up in the blast furnace, you can you need four uh, steel ingots and four any kind of uh, stained glass will work. And that is how you get the steel casing. It should be done by now. Now almost. But then you use a steel casing, two iron ingots, four redstone, and two circuit boards to make the enrichment chamber. And there you go. You've got ore doubling, and you can use it to make all kinds of other things for mods. But it's a, it's a really good thing, and it's really worthwhile to get. Okay. So over here, it should be done now. Yeah, there we go. The steel ingots are done. Anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to sub if you're new to the channel. And bye!